Okay, so let's just jump right in. One day, the AI world is playing by one set of rules. The next, a new model just appears out of nowhere on Hugging Face. No announcement, no marketing, and it completely torches the rulebook. We're talking about DeepSeek v3.1, and its arrival wasn't just another update. No, this was an earthquake. And to really get why this is such a massive deal, you just have to look at the numbers. Think about a really complex coding job. Yesterday, running that on a top-of-the-line AI could set you back 70 bucks. Today, with DeepSeek v3.1, you get the same, maybe even better results for about a dollar. That's, that's not a price drop. That is a complete demolition of the existing economics. If you're a business running thousands of these tasks, this changes absolutely everything. And this feeling right here, it just ripped through the AI community almost overnight. Look, this wasn't some corporate press release or a hyped up marketing slogan. This was the raw, unfiltered reaction from developers who looked at the performance, saw the price, or really the lack of a price, and just knew the game had been flipped on its head. To say it destroyed expectations almost doesn't do it justice. Right, and how it all went down was just as wild as the model itself. This wasn't some big, flashy product launch. There was no keynote, no carefully crafted blog post. DeepSeek just quietly uploaded it. And within hours, the raw data started talking. And boy, did it have a lot to say. The shockwaves were immediate. And here's the hard proof, the ADER programming benchmark. This is a seriously tough test for an AI's coding chops. For a good while, Anthropic's Claude Opus 4 was the undisputed champ sitting comfortably at the top. And then V3.1 just waltzes in and scores a 71.6%, knocking the king right off the throne. And the craziest part? This new leader is an open source model you can just download for free. The sheer scale of this thing is, well, it's just mind boggling. We're talking about a model with 685 billion parameters. I mean, that's a number that, until now, really felt like it was exclusively for the biggest, most secretive labs in the world. And it's not just about raw power. It has an incredible memory, too. It's got a 128,000 token context window. What does that mean? It means it can digest entire code bases or massive documents without losing track of what it's doing. But honestly, here is the knockout punch. When you take that elite frontier level performance and then you combine it with the fact that it can be up to 68 times cheaper to run, you end up with a value proposition that is pretty much impossible for any sane business to ignore. So the big question is, how did they do this? How did they pull it off? Because this isn't just about throwing more computing power at the problem. There's some really clever, really innovative engineering going on here. So let's pop the hood and see what's making this thing tick. So the secret sauce seems to be this thing they call a hybrid architecture. See, in the past, if you try to make one single AI that was great at everything, you know, complex reasoning, casual conversation, and super precise coding, you usually ended up with a model that was just kind of mediocre at all of them. DeepSeek seems to have cracked that puzzle. They built a single, unified flagship model that just excels across the board. Okay, now this part is just fascinating. Researchers in the community started digging into the model's inner workings, and they found these four hidden tokens. It turns out, before the model even gives you an answer, it can use a think token to reason through the problem internally. It can even use a search token to go look for information. It's basically got this private, hidden thought process before it ever says a word. And when you put all these community discoveries together, the picture becomes crystal clear. This was not just another small update. The fact that it has reasoning and search baked right in, that you don't need a separate model for it anymore, and that it's way faster on tough questions, it all points to a major architectural leap forward. Which brings us to the really big strategic question here. Why would any company build a state-of-the-art AI, one that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the world, and then just give it away? This isn't about charity. Make no mistake. This is a calculated move. This is a gambit. And you just have to look at the timing. It couldn't have been more perfect, more deliberate. Right after the big players like OpenAI and Anthropic launched their newest, shiniest models and locked them behind expensive APIs and corporate paywalls, that's the moment DeepSeek chose to drop its competitor online. For free. The message was loud and clear. And this move really throws into sharp relief the two competing philosophies in this global AI race. On one side, you have the Western approach. Treat cutting-edge AI like guarded intellectual property, and you make money from it with high fees. 
And on the other side, you have this totally different strategy. Treat it like public infrastructure. Give it a way to get everyone using it, building on it, and accelerating adoption. Yeah, and this is not happening in a vacuum. This move by DeepSeek lines up perfectly with China's national strategy. Their plans have explicitly favored open sourcing AI for years now. The goal is pretty straightforward. Get your technology into the hands of as many developers around the world as you possibly can, as fast as you can. So, let's talk about the fallout. What does all of this actually mean? For the industry, for you as a developer, for companies everywhere? What happens when this incredibly advanced technology, something that used to be scarce and really expensive, suddenly becomes abundant and basically free? This analogy is just perfect. Think about the world before Linux. You had to pay big money for proprietary, closed-off server operating systems. Then this free, open source thing called Linux comes along, and at first it was just good enough. But then good enough became great, and it totally reshaped the entire industry. We are watching that exact same dynamic play out right now, but this time it's with AI. You have to remember, building frontier AI models is insanely expensive. We're talking massive investments in data centers, hiring the absolute top research talent, navigating complex compliance, and companies have to make that money back somehow. That's where those high API fees come from. DeepSeek has basically just sidestepped that whole business model by treating their amazing product as a public good, not just a service to sell. And so this is the question that is now sitting on the desk of every CTO and every product manager out there. If an open source model can match or even beat the performance of the expensive closed model for what you need it to do at a tiny fraction of the cost, how do you possibly justify paying those premium rates anymore? The entire value proposition of the closed model world is now under enormous pressure. And you know, maybe the biggest impact of all is this. For years, there's been this story, this narrative, that only a few huge, massively funded labs in the U.S. could build these state-of-the-art AI systems. Well, DeepSeek has just proven that myth is completely false. Frontier AI is no longer the exclusive playground of a handful of tech giants. You know, for a long time, the most artificial thing about artificial intelligence wasn't the intelligence itself. It was the scarcity. Access was controlled. It was locked behind paywalls. Those walls are now crumbling down. So with this kind of power now accessible to pretty much anyone with a good idea, the really exciting question is, what's going to get built next? <laughs>